The film is a romance. It's also about isolation and the isolation that we all feel. This is a man who intends to end his life today. And so it gives an incredible vibrancy and poignance to that, to that day. Rather than it being gloomy and tragic because it's all going to come to an end, the focus is on that vibrancy. The main message of the film is really to live in the present, to live every day as though it were your last day. He's, in, he's given himself a last look and a, and a wonderfully intense last look. Sometimes the most amazing things in life are the small little things, something someone said to you, the smell of the back of someone's neck, little things in life. Because the small things in our life are really the big things in our life. And I think it's very important to remember that. Good answer. It's, it's a story about relationships, it's, and it's, it's also set in the past, so it's not necessarily commenting on how things are today. The change of life. George is going from his middle age to his older years. He, he can't see his future. He can't really figure out what the next phase of his life is going to be. George's uh, fate is no different from anybody else's. George has decided to kill himself. And because of this, he goes through this day in an entirely different way. Colin was great. He's, uh, he's really somebody I look up to. Um, I've got a lot of respect for him. It was great to, to watch him, how he how he brought George to life, and it really, he really helped me in the fact that, you know, watching him, I, I did really care about him. Midlife crisis, circa 1962, a woman who's done everything that our culture tells her she should do. She's built her life around her beauty, around being the perfect wife, the perfect mother, the perfect hostess, and yet she finds herself absolutely alone. Her husband has left her, her child has grown up. She's still trying uh, to play the game that she's been playing for so long, and it doesn't work anymore. She's, you know, uh, no longer a great young beauty, and so her feeling is, well, then what am I? You know, what do I do? Do I go back to London? Do I do? You know, she's stuck. She's just, you know, she's in this. She's in a box. When George is around Charlie, he's different. She's absolutely light in his life. She really is that kind of breath of fresh air in our film.